Hey, true believers, Zenglantine here with a little something from Miss Anna Diop. Now, you do remember these pictures, the ones from Teen Titans on set. They were released from somebody who took them candidly. This is, uh, like I said on, on, on the last video, these were out of context. So while they do look horrible, we actually do not know what context they're in. So... You know, low hopes, high hopes kind of thing. Uh, let me get this straight. You know, this woman, she is a beautiful woman. That is just a bad outfit she was wearing in that first picture. You can tell right here. She looks good. And maybe they will orange her up. Maybe they're going to do it right where we get Starfire. You know, the Starfire we know and love. And that would, that would be cool. I would dig that. I know everybody else would dig that. So anyway, after all of the controversy, Anna Diop decided to go to Instagram and basically rebut. And she decided to do the rebuttal right next to quite an attractive picture of herself. Anyway, to the fans, to the Titans fans, excuse me, yesterday a photo of me on set leaked online. And it was unfortunately, be unfortunately, Unfortunate because fans have been waiting months for a photo of Starfire and a sloppy photo of me on a curb in 15 degree weather is what they got instead. For the sake of our incredible fans, I hated that this is the first picture people are seeing. It's out of context and it's a misrepresentation of the incredible character I get to play and also a misrepresentation of the phenomenal production behind it all. With that said, the hate speech that followed was deplorable. And though I am highly unbothered, I do want to use this as an opportunity to say that tearing people down is not something that I tolerate for myself or anyone else. Hold on, uh, Speedy Gonzalez being chased by the cops over here. It happens around here. Usually it happens later, but yeah, we get the people who are just blasting everywhere, driving real fast. Anyway, uh, where was I? Too often, social media is abused by some who find refuge in the anonymity, anonymity. I always get this word wrong. It's just one of those things for me. Everybody's got a word blockage, like one they always, and this is the one for me. Anonymity. Yeah, geez, you know, and it always makes you feel stupid, but it, there's like a word. It's like when you're spelling, like maybe one word will get you in. For me, it's anonymity. That always gets me when I'm just reading through. Anyway, and detachment it provides. Yeah, I so digressed. And detachment it provides mis misused as a tool to harass, abuse, and spew hatred at others. This is weak, sad, and a direct reflection of the abuser, racist, derogatory, and or cruel comments have nothing to do with the person on the receiving end of that abuse. And because I know this, I'm unfazed. But for anyone out there who may not... I am here to remind you that whatever ugly and negative thing anyone ever chooses to say about you is always a reflection and revelation of themselves. It does not define you, and it certainly does not make you any less perfect than you already are. I'd put in the already, excuse me. Be you. Stay beautiful. Live breezy. As always, much love. Good message. She's not the victim. She's not playing the victim. You know, she says, hey, whoa, whoa, hold on. I'm sorry those pictures came out. They were, I put this up just because I never saw it before. Anyway, she says, I'm sorry those pictures came out. That wasn't our best foot forward. She admits it. She said, uh, she apologizes that that was the first thing that we saw since there is high production. Now, of course, we don't know about that either. It may come out and it still looks crappy, but at least she's stepping up and say, and that's one thing I, I really like about this message. She is never the victim. And yes, I did see some racist comments. There was a whole bunch of this in bitch and all that kind of stuff going on about her. I even made a thumbnail that was like, hey, mister, want a date? Because she did look like a hooker in that picture, which she understands it's not a flattering picture of her. And she mentioned that once again. She wasn't the victim. She accepted it. She knows that's an ugly picture. She knows it's a bad picture and regrets that it's the picture that got out. Now, the only thing she puts down is she's saying that, you know, okay, if people are saying racist things, that, that's bad on them, and I agree with that. And I like the end uh, I like the end message. Hey, look, if somebody's calling you bad names, is that really about you or, or them? So, yeah, I enjoyed that because she didn't curl up into a fetal ball yelling, Oh, I'm so offended. No, she just said flat out, hey, look, you know, it's uh, it's bad that people do this. I see it all the time. 
She sees it all the time, I'm sure. So, yeah, I, I appreciate the message that she's trying to give. Anyway, you know, that's basically all I have to say about this. I kind of thought it was a positive message. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Cool things happen around these parts, especially every 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday nights. We do Comic Book Thunderdome, putting two geeks against each other to fight the fights and debate the debates that we have in any comic book shop or comic book forum. It's tons of fun. 9 p.m. Eastern, Comic Book Thunderdome, right here on I Love Comics. Also, this is the way I make a living, so if you don't mind heading on over to Patreon and drop a dollar in the till, link is in the description below. It'll help us make videos for you and get better equipment and better software to make better videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. To everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.